Setting up your own business email address. There are many things that lend a sense of authority to your business. One that is easy to do is having your business name be part of your email address, as in you at yourcompanyname.com. By having your own business-related address, you control your email address forever. You don't have to worry about your address being taken away from you, as can happen if you use a third-party email service as your primary business email address. One of the many reasons to have your own business email address is so that you can assign email addresses to all of your employees. If an employee leaves your company, you will be able to redirect that employee's business emails to someone else in your organization. The first thing you will need to get started is your own domain name. We have several videos in our technical section on how to get your own domain name. This video assumes you have already registered the domain you plan to use for your business and have already pointed your domain name to your account at your web hosting provider. Almost every web host offers email services along with web hosting. There should be no extra charge for this. We recommend that you try to find a web host that includes an administrative interface called cPanel. cPanel allows you to do many things including setting up your own business email addresses. Many web hosts use cPanel or a similar product like Plesk. It's relatively simple to set up as many addresses as you'll need for your business using cPanel. Let's take a look at how to set up email addresses that contain your domain. The first thing you're going to want to do is to log into your cPanel account. Look for the mail panel and click email accounts. Next, type in the email account you want to create. In this case, we're creating Bobby. Now type in a good strong password. Validate the password by typing it in again. Then deciding exactly how much you want to allocate to this website, unlimited or a certain amount of megabytes. Hit the create account button. And there you go. You'll see that Bobby at net101.com has now been created. A few other modifications you can do if you so like at the bottom. This creates an email account on your web server. For detailed instructions on how to pick up your mail, you will need to contact your web host. Next, I'll show you how to do a forwarder. Click on the forwarders button and then click on add forwarder. Next screen will come up and you will want to type in the email address you want to forward from. In this case, we're going to put in Bobby that we created just a few minutes ago. And now we'll decide what the destination will be. What I'm going to do now is have all of Bobby's emails sent to my mark at net101.com account. Click add the forwarder. Now it says that all emails sent to bobby at net101.com will be forwarded to mark at net101.com. You can forward your emails to pretty much any email account, including Gmail. One of our other videos covered setting up a Gmail account, and doing so does have several benefits, not the least of which is their excellent spam filters. You will find that you receive very little spam through Gmail. Another benefit of Gmail is that it is very easy to set it up so that you can pick up your email at your office, on your mobile device, or at home, and have all of your emails synced all of the time. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to stop by our site to pick up the checklist for the video, which includes more information and resources. Mm -hmm.